night in his vehicle with his family. Salam says the officer never gave a clear reason for the stop and that more transparency is needed. The NYPD says the stop was for tinted windows and the officers were professional. They shared body camera video. All right. Thank you, sir. The mayor tried to defuse the situation, praising the officers and saying he spoke with Salam. A, a car stop is, is, is stressful for the police officer and it's stressful for the people who are being stopped. And I think that, you know, he is able to see the video and we, we, we spoke. And again, I'm excited about him being a public safety Chair. It's unclear how many, if any, city council votes will change because of this ride along. But city council members did seem focused on the fact that police out here in the field have to do a lot of things by hand on paper. They'd like to see that streamlined into technology in some cases. The NYPD tells me some of that is required by law at the state level. On October 20th, 2020. Yeah. Um, salute to um, High Five Gift and Five Op Nation memberships again. Shout out to Robert. No relation to Latoya the Destroyer. Can't trail Junior coming through. We'll see this one, man. Um, let's see what happened here. On October 20th, 2022, a USPIS agent was on vacation at Disney World's Animal Kingdom in Florida when he spotted a fugitive who had been on the run for almost a year. The fugitive was later identified this as 31-year-old Sean Burton. Burton got into the park by using a fake identity. Since the agent was an inspector with the United States Postal Inspection Service, he was involved in the case and had signed Burton's arrest warrant. Authorities say Burton went on the run in New York City in November of 2021 after he used fraudulent documents to obtain coronavirus relief aid. Burton stole the identities of at least four people to get nearly $150,000 in government loans. Yeah, give me a second, all right? Does it look like him? All right, brother. We'll talk to you for a second. Yeah. What's up? You have your ID with you? My ID? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have my ID on. What's your first name? We got it. We got a. We got some more. <laughs> What's your first name? He paused. Oh, oh shit. shit. You on vacation with your daughter at the fucking at the? Oh, he's probably got the. He probably took this vacation with the money he stole. Oh yeah. It's probably the fourth <laughs> vacation <Yeah>. he's taken. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. in Disneyland actually. I think that's the story. He's probably been he's probably been um he's probably been all globe trotting, man. But um yeah, you can see the fear on his face, man. All right, brother. Can we'll talk to you for a second? Me? Yeah. What's up? You have your ID with you? My ID? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have my ID on. What's your first name? We got a we got a we got some more that you might be doing something. I might be doing something. Yeah. You have your name? Yeah. Okay. So I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. give me a second. Turn off for me. It's okay. You didn't do anything wrong? It's okay. Well, I don't understand. I, literally, don't. I literally, I'm with my daughter. It's okay. It's okay. Officer, I did nothing wrong. Okay. It's okay. If you didn't do anything wrong. Immediately going into the acting. If the daughter was not there, he would have immediately bolted. Yep. This is, yeah. this is bad. Got to get in the character. Oh, it's time for my oh, performance. And yeah, he's in character. This he really is. You're right. And when I saw this video, I read the comments, and a lot of them, a lot of people defended him because he was taking his kid to Disneyland. They were like, you know, give him leniency because he was using the money. The black man his taking child. his kid. He's taking his kid exactly. to the park. Oh, and he's been arrested. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we can't line. even take our kids to Disneyland without getting harassed <laughs> by the police. That's true. Did you say harassed? Hey, harassed. Hey, oh, I don't just understand. Don't resist. Right. Don't resist. Officer, I did nothing okay. wrong. Don't resist. Officer, I just was here with my officer. Listen. Okay. Don't grab This is not right. I did nothing wrong, officer. Put your hands I, behind your back. Can you tell me what's wrong? What the once, problem once we figure it out. Uh, but this is not right. It, okay. Look. Me. You're not telling me okay. why. Okay. This is not right. You're the suspect. I'm the suspect. You know what? Look at me. If you're not the guy, we're gonna let you go. If you are the guy, this is not right. Put your hands behind your back. 
I did nothing wrong. I'm here with my child. Okay, right. so listen. Look, my daughter. Are you going to do this? If it isn't him, we're going to let him go. Take for a warrant. Okay, brother, turn around. Officer, turn this around. is not turn right. Y'all going to do this again, my child? Turn around. Are you not doing this? If there were more sons around, he could like completely like warm himself out of the situation. Oh my god, yo, this is not right, officer. I'm resisting. Officer, my daughter is right here. Are you not serious? Stop resisting, man. They still ain't got the cuffs on. We still resist. <laughs> my daughter can't. My daughter can't breathe. He can't, he can't breathe, baby. The arresting my. officer is a Patel. Oh man, this is crazy. No man. shit. Listen, man, this is this is crazy. He's still not. Oh, yeah. Stop fighting, man. I got my is right here. Hey, bro, if it's not you, are you kidding me? Are y'all kidding me? Y'all gonna assault me now? Turn I around, I'm, turn around. Y'all gonna assault me? Buddy, if it's not they got one cuff on. Okay, they got one on. Um, they just gotta get the other one on, Vance. You, we're gonna let you go. Listen, all right, so, so confirm that before you arrest me. I'm not arresting you. For your body. I mean, sir, there are the buddy, cuffs. If this you put your hands behind your back and stop resisting, oh, if sir, it's not you. Y'all are assaulting me. If it's not you, I'm, I'm talking you to y'all calmly. Buddy, I did nothing more. Oh, I shit. Look how dangerously close that knee of, of antebellum knee came to his oh. neck, man. Oh. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to need an ancestor power up in a second <laughs> to get out of this. Got to channel oh, his inner sh chakras. Oh, oh. how they do this to him? They're going to they're gonna lynch him from the roller coaster. Watch this knee just... Watch how fucking this knee, this knee of supremacy just comes down. Watch. Oh, always a knee. Always a knee. Knee, knee of supremacy. I'm, I'm to <laughs> Watch it. You can hear it. You can hear the reverberations through history when his knee touches the cement. Watch. Buddy, I did nothing wrong. I'm What's your name? Oh my look, God. Look, look at me. 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 Yeah, if it's not you, I told you that from the very beginning. Yes, but what? I don't understand. I'm You're the subject of a warrant. If it's not you, I'm going to let you go. I'm coming at 10 for you. I don't understand. This is 10 for I do understand what I'm saying. Look at me. I promise you, if it's not you, we're going to let you go. Okay, but the thing is, you're not listening. To me. Uh, if we just, re if we just, if we just, I told you from the very beginning. If we secure you, and it's not you, we're gonna let you go. Okay, that's it. But we have to investigate. But it is me. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says. Like, you uh, motherfucker, you don't understand. I'm about to go to prison, right. bitch. He ends up a black people okay, literally man. police don't, the please police. Don't tell us what country. happened, man. Please don't be a dick and tell us what happened, KD. Charles Sephardi. You know, we ain't, we ain't, nobody, ain't nobody seen this shit with you and you about to fuck this world and shit. They're going to separate this poor man from his child fucking the border. Because you match the description of a subject of a warrant. Okay? Yeah. 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 Okay? Yeah.
arrestee. This, this is this is nothing compared to what it can be. Hey, if it's not if it's not you, we're gonna let you go. But it is me. <laughs> I get I give the money back, I swear. I'm about to go ask him for a refund, man. Let me give you all the money, man. Yeah, let me let me let me write an IOU on a napkin real quick. I give you that IOU. I'm good for that. Uh, uh, why do you why do you think this behavior is the way it is? Like they just they they can't like if you had a a tiger or a juice crew or a glider, those are the words you use, right? If you had them in a situation like this, and the moment they heard from the police, like, hey, look, man, we're going to let you go if it was a mistake and we'll be all good. I feel once you say that, they they will relent. They will be okay with it and they'll accept the situation. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the problem, though, man. You can tell it's him. If, yeah, if, you, if, if, you if can tell he's got him. warrants. Yeah, if you was just a normal person who was out there and the cops rolled up, you good? Like, what? All right, man. Let's just clear this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, he know once them cuffs is on, they not coming off, and he's going upstate because he's been on the run for a year. That's what. But, but even a e even a tiger, even if a tiger was here and they knew they were guilty, like they would accept that the jig was up. They, it wouldn't have to, you know, go to this. Like they would just kind of comply. And yeah, well, they got to do the begging, like you know, and the, and the, the like, routine yeah. of like, oh, man, yeah. the, the routine. You just can't help but notice like the difference between groups. Like the the routine is just like it's characteristic almost. You, it's just it's just so it's just so there. I just it's well, look, just if it was crazy. me, you you would just like immediately be like, oh, the jig's up, you know, put your arms behind yeah, your back. Yeah, yeah. You know? that's what a glider would do. They would be like, oh crap, you got me. All right, this but, is it. But here's the thing, though, like. These guys, you you guys don't have as many interactions with police as we have. So you guys, a glider may have one or two, maybe three interactions throughout his life with um the police. Sunbin, we have dozens and dozens. So we are come now. One, we're comfortable around police. Two, we've been in the criminal justice system a lot, and we've gotten away with a lot. So like a Sunman. Like if you catch like 40, 50 charges of the sun, man, even if you go to prison, you only went to prison for like one or two of those charges over your life. You, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not, you're not, it's not out of the realm of the possibility in your mind that you can get out of this. Right. Even then, you so can like police like the police. Like, look in this clip, like this guy is literally like he's almost like controlling the arrest, like himself oh, yeah. himself. He's like I was, He's becoming this sort of like, oh, he's a blind man being persecuted, you know. It, it's, it's like, a like, like you guys can literally police the police, like. But and to be fair, like you are, like you used as like, in, within the media as like a proxy to like police whites, basically. But this ain't got nothing to do with the pol the, the media. This is just man no, 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 no. man it's just like, interaction. Bro. This is just this is a man. Man on man interactions. The sons are very, very good at those man one on one interactions, they're, they're, especially with gliders. They're very good at that man. They're very good at a, a glider is unprepared. Work. Like a, a glider literally can't like communicate the same way. Like I remember watching a video of yours, and you're you're talking about like how like the sons know the gliders have a higher IQ, but like that doesn't matter in this type of situation because it's like right. it's like a dramatic performance, and sons are way better at that shit uh, than gliders will ever be. Oh yeah, like exactly. uh, like if there was if there was way of all these white people watching this right now, if they were all sons, I'm telling you, this dude could be like Houdini and get out of this shit. It it would just it would it really is something like a sight to see. Yeah. This guy's having a he's there with his daughter and he's got no ID. He's there with his daughter and he's got no ID. It's ludicrous. No, he, he probably has an ID, he just knows if he gives it to him, his name's on it. <laughs> hey, appreciate you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> it's like they gotta they gotta thank him. It's just crazy, dude. Yeah. It's an impossible job. 
Thanks, right. for tonight getting us fired okay. or arrested. Thanks, bro. Okay. If it's not you, we're gonna let you go, okay? But the thing is, we do have to verify. Thank you for not getting us fired or arrested. Because if he resisted enough and they had to go up the force continuum, you know what I'm saying? Like it could have led to one of these guys going to prison. Because you, we have a hundred. Yeah, they got they got to keep like reassuring him like a child, even though they know it's him. They got to keep reassuring him. From the very beginning, okay. You can't breathe, there, man. Don't do anything stupid because we got more people coming, okay? All right. Okay, if he gets up and takes favor, off, okay? you owe me a thousand dollars. We're gonna stand to the left, okay? So this <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll right. see. You're gonna go that way and stand on your butt. Okay? Come up. All right, we're gonna take him straight to the car. Right. Hey, we're gonna just talk to him and that's it, okay? Come on. Yeah. Don't try anything dumb, okay? Anyone you're not supposed to have, like, to hurt us, man? No. Hey, we're at the bus. We're going to walk back to the, where we parked the off-duty car. I'm right here. Okay. Okay, we're going. Let's not go through there. Kids are there. Smash that like button, man. Let's search him. Smash that like button, man. Smash that like button. Another instant little We're angel. At the bus. We're gonna walk back to the where we Okay. 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 These police are being extra cautious, man. Extra. Just sort it out, okay? You have ID on you anywhere, or did you give it to him already? Oh um, no, I don't have ID. Okay. Do you have an ID in Florida? No. No. Where's your ID from? With my ID card? Yeah. He asked the question and he looked there. Uh, <laughs> my, I'm from, uh, I'm from Montana, for real. <laughs> no. Where's your ID from? No, no, Ablo Inglés. Yeah. Well, like you're an adult, you have a photo ID issued to you somewhere? Um, yes. What state? South Carolina. South Carolina? All right. You can go ahead and put your knees in there for me, bud. I see what you mean. Like, like he's done this 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 dance so many times. He has no fear, like, at all, period. No. Yeah. He's Comfortable with the place this. is what he says. If he's like, he's 40, not even sweating. If he's 40, right? Let's say this guy's 40. He might be 45. He looks like he's about my age. When was he like 12? So that would be 33 years ago. You've been going through this for 30 years. Like it's 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 Same like shit. normal. Yeah, I mean it's just it's just it's just a normal thing. I mean, whatever it is, it's it's, it's part of life. It's not like something out of the ordinary. Now listen, don't get me wrong, does he want to be here? Fuck no. But it is what it is. Okay. okay. What's your name? What's your name, bro? Thank you. I mean, you, you, you know that we already know, right? No, <laughs> <You> know. <laughs> But honestly, though, if, if every encounter was like this, What's that would be a tremendous improvement. What's your name, bro? It's not over till it's over. I mean, you, you, you know that we already know, right? No, what? You know, so why don't you just provide your actual information to us and speed up this process? That's fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's, what's, your, what's your last name? You don't, you, do you have a last name? I have a name, but you don't want to provide it? 
I, I wanna All you're going to do is prolong things, but if you don't tell us, so it's not really affecting us. It's really going to tie you up more than anything. I understand that. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Okay. Well, I'll let, I'll let this deputy explain that to you. Okay. okay. Well, I'll let him explain it some more. Bro, listen. I'm going to be real with you, okay? I have I have kids myself, okay? I didn't want that to get to that point. And I, and I was talking to you in a nice way, okay? And that, that's what I was trying to explain to you. I was, I'm trying to level with you, bro. Because this all this didn't have to happen, okay? And, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. This is not had, did not have to happen. I explained to you, you were the subject of a warrant, okay? Okay? And, and, and again, the longer you prolong this, the longer, because we, we could be here all day. So we just need to get going. We already know what we got to know, but you got to give us the information that we need, okay? What's your name, bro? We already went, look, all through all this crap. What's your name, man? All right. Bro. Yeah. What's hey, man right? to man, bro. What's your name, bro? We're going to do this? Bro. Listen, I told you, man. None of this has to happen. Okay? I tried talking to you normal, but you just... You don't want it that way. So you, what? You, are you saying this is DNA? That's not the way or he's just been through it that many right? times? Or both? Try, we, we need to get all this information. What, what is your name? I mean, this right here, him not giving him any information. He's it's a routine, out isn't it? He, he's stalling out the process. Like, for instance, like Floyd. Floyd was just extending the clock. This is at the end of the game. You're down like 20. And you hit a three with like 30 seconds left, and then you immediately foul the other team and put them on the line. Like you're literally going to come back from 17 down with 25 seconds left. It's just, you ever see the games where they do that? Or the game with the other team or football where the team is down like 40 points and they're like running up to the line and spiking the ball and calling timeouts just to try. It's like, yo, game's over. You're not going to score 40 points in two minutes. But you got to extend the game because in your mind, anything could happen. If you just extend the game, yep. anything can happen. There's no but honor the, in any of this. question on the slate. Yeah, even, even, even if he knows he's not going to get away, he will still do shit like this just to fuck with the cops. Well, that word honor like is important to think about because it's just like, it's I just think like they uh, it's just different. Like uh, like when they tell this guy, hey, like you're just dragging it out and you're doing all of this. If you said that to a glider, they would be like, OK, yeah, this is just irrational at this point. I should just like give it up. But there's just like a difference in like how they interpret these instructions from these policemen. And and just it's just different. I don't know what else to say. Like, it's, geez. Pure, it's pure ego and uh, selfishness. There is no, there is no thought about like the system at large or the money or the other people that are affected. It's just what can I do to save my own ass and fuck everybody but else yeah, over. I think so. It's ingrained, though, like, in it. Like you see it, like throughout, like the whole black community. Like they all do but, this. They literally all the do the routine. To him, to this fellow, it's not selfishness because that's a glider principle. Like they, they don't see it that way. You get what I'm saying? Like we're like. We're, yeah, but I'm saying like this is the this the this default guy. behavior is selfishness. But we're but we're we're so are you glider? I am. I don't know if you are, but we're like projecting onto this guy like glider, commonly you know held glider attributes and you know systems and you know honor. Yeah, like but that's what like he's that. doing. That is what he's doing. He's being selfish. No, when he no, took no, that when he when he took that money, he was being <laughs> selfish. No, to us, to a glider, yes, but to him, no, because yeah, but because it's still objective truth if you want to live in a first world country. So yeah, it but, matters. But to him, like objective truth is like a fucking glider thing, you know. Like, I know, but I'm saying if you want to live in a nice country, you better matter, and you better not listen to his definitions because there are no definitions. Well, shoot, I mean, we can, one can only wish. <laughs> He's he's a fucking child. Let's face it. He's a like violent criminal ch child. He's got the mind of a child. Hey guys, can you hear me? I haven't spoken yet. Can you hear my mic? Yeah. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. 
Okay, I, I just want to chime in on this. Um, Connected back to the, when you were talking about black women earlier. I would say that black people are genetic so socialists, communists, and Marxists because they do not like taking responsibility for anything. So they can never, ever really be Republicans. It's a hardcore take. That's, Respect. that's, yeah, that's, I generally that's agree with that. Yeah. That's, that's the DNA take, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I live this right. I, I I know from the way I used to think, I look at my friends and my family now. I know that I cannot live in UK again with my friend. Excuse me, with my friends. I am so different to the way they think now, right? Okay, I'm, I was 60 last Sunday. I, I've completely grown away from my black community. The things that they think, I mean, you, you could be stupid for, for a period of time, but after a while, you're going to realize that's not right. But they just won't change. They and I bet they get honest. on at you about that, don't they? Like, oh, uh, I guarantee oh. you, you've like had an alienation, haven't you, because of that? 100%. I tell you, I'm the villain. My oh, I know they are. Like, they'll turn on you in a second. Like, you're a sellout to them. Man, listen, all my cousins in Barbados, right? Really? They talk about, they talk about Jesus Christ and pop and um, all this religion, right? Loads of my cousins, right? Kids outside of wedlock. A lot of nonsense. So one day I just said to them, look, if you're also Christian, why are you all got kids? Thinking about marriage. Well, I, I think Christianity is just also widely interpreted differently depending on the group that practices it. Uh, like Christianity to a glider was more of a thing to kind of think about the world, explore the world, actually exploring the world, especially scientifically, was seen as like a good thing because, you know, there's God and everything, right? But when you see like sons in Christianity, it'll be like, yo, please, God, let me like fucking rob the store and not go to jail. Like <laughs> it's very different. It, it, it's almost like uh, it's kind of like used as a as a weapon or like a safety net for a son. But yeah. uh, for a glider, it's more like, hey, uh, how how am I going to use this to help me interpret the world and make it a more like moral place and it it it's just very different you can really see that in like the black churches every time a george floyd gets killed and then like al sharpton goes to the black church it's it's just not really even the same thing yeah hey uh, i just want to highlight your point about uh, the genetic component linked to communism which is an interesting uh you know comment on the sun culture being self-destructive just like communism yeah 100%. I, I live through that, man. I, I can tell you the way I used to think from the culture I grew up in until I grew out of that. There's, you, you look at the American way. Freedom, building a house in the middle of nowhere. You look after yourself. If there's no government, there's no government. There's no way that black people can operate in a system like that. I tell you, your country is definitely going to come to a civil war. Boom, there's, exactly. There, 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 there is no way that blacks can exist in the world. And it's getting to, it was improving, but the trajectory now, right? You tell me how the Western civilization can withstand liberals, blacks, and this cultural Marxism. You, actually, you know when this started? The minute you let Trump get banned from Twitter and you white guys out there did nothing, that was already the beginning of the Civil War. You know, when this is recorded in the history books later, it, Bruh, it's going to be... It began on 9-11. It, right. it isn't black. It, it began after World War II, to be fair. It isn't black to destroy America. It's, it's, you can see what this, this Biden and whoever's pushing, pushing his buttons. I mean, you have, what, 8 million or 10 million people who can hardly speak English coming into the country. It's going to really destroy the standard of living. And um, it's, del it's deliberate, you know. It's, it's uh, there's a report on Fox about it. It's multinational uh, and NGOs are being financed by the UN. Yeah, Juice Crew NGOs, oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah, juice, juice Crew, right? And yeah, how, how, how much good did that media control do them after October seventh? Eh? How, how, how much good has it done them? Well, last thing I say, right? Um, you mentioned the Juice Crew, right? I've been looking at all these problems and trying to get to the root of the problem. 
you know, if you can't find the root of a problem, you can never solve it, right? The number one thing that I remember from the 1970s that I can identify up to today, the beginning of the end was political correctness. The, the minute you cannot call a state a state, now you're taking control of language. And that to me was the beginning of the end. Yeah. It's, it's about, I mean, political correctness is about removing like the language for what white people to actually be able to politically uh, advocate for themselves in any way on like all these different fronts because it, it covers like all of them. Yeah. That's I mean, right. that I would I would say like even even without that even without the political correctness and all that it really started with the Hel Heart Seller Immigration Act that was basically yes. the transitioning it's of it's, well, you have to think about it. a country is what it's it's a landmass right and it's got borders well they used to but what a country is is a like basically a binding of a group of people and if you have that heart seller immigration act it basically immediately goes hey this was once a country now it's not a country anymore and it's simply just an economic zone for anyone of any creed to come in and fuck it up or you know do whatever they want and so it's just basically well, multicultural you're, work let's say you're agreeing with yeah you. uh, and then in, that in got the applied UK. across the entire west that's what's crazy right. about it no, no, let's see actually you're agreeing with me because back in the 1970s in the UK, there was a conservative politician named Enoch Powell. And who, he was, who, was, who was a legend. Like, Enoch Powell is not even some yeah. tyrant. He's not racist. That guy was like, what he said has came true. Like, he, right, the river Enoch water, Powell's right. a legend. That, like, that, that's like that. right. But the way he the was portrayed in the media, correct. The way I grew up, Enoch Powell was next to Adolf Hitler in my house yeah. and in my vicinity. In my vicinity. Ridiculous Everything around that guy, that guy was. I had no idea what the guy was really like until later on when I watched some of these interviews. So, Trump, from mainstream media, yes, is it, it was. You know, when I he's was not even remotely racist, like his best mate was an Indian, he spoke Urdu. Listen, you man, know, was, absolutely I, ridiculous, like the shit yeah. they say about him, to be fair. Okay, when I was growing up in the UK, right, you see Ronald Reagan, the way the media in UK portrayed Ronald Reagan was very similar to how they portray Trump. I had no idea until I was over 50 years old that Ronald Reagan had a sense of humor. They censored all of that for mainstream media in the UK. We just thought he was a bumbling buffoon and didn't know what he was doing. But guys, let me ask you this, Any, every one of you guys. Do you guys uh, uh, agree to legal immigration? Not the levels it's at. No, 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 no. Like no don't, you do not. Like, you do not need to explain. Um, do you agree to immigration, legal or illegal? Just yes or no. I agree to legal. Um, not on the okay. these levels that are at. No, 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 no. no. Just there. say yes or no. Just yeah, say yes or no, no but please. The thing is, though, like, yes no, you can have immigration yes no. at like yes. twenty, do, thirty thousand, and it's not that. It, it's, yes it's not no, going to like man. affect yes the. No. Yes, man. I'm asking yes or no. Do you agree to no. immigration? You think that's not going to affect anything? Man, I can't get yes. my point across because. You, you, you're not answering. Do you agree to immigration? Just say yes or no and then stop. No. Full stop. No. Okay, that's good. Who said yes? Me. I, I agree with immigration. I'm you agree with that. immigration? <laughs> then, then, then you are part of the problem because you agree to the erosion of a society. So you are part no, of the problem. No, no. no, no. If you, you are. Have a skill set, no, if you have a skill set missing and there are people in the world that can do that job, but on their merits, if you let them in and let them settle, and they learn your language and they learn your culture there's nothing wrong with that no there is that's you language. but the thousands and thousands that that came from where you you came from will erode the institution the society from within so you should not be uh pro immigration legal or illegal because that's no going to be the fall of the west that's going to be the fall of successful societies immigration also you have to understand no Probably. no immigration like immigrates to a country as a single person right people move in groups and they live in groups and they establish small micro societies wherever they, and they go. bring all the family as well there, so there's, there's really like and also even if you had like uh high skilled immigrants that you know are kind of like expats and come in 
over many generations, there's still like regression to the mean, right? So it, it yeah. really, it just, it hey, doesn't work. Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. It's simpler than that. Before 65, the only immigrants, come, the majority, vast majority of immigrants coming in were from Europe. They were glad. Correct. After 65, that wasn't the case. So immigration yeah. worked up until a point. Yeah. No, no, no. It worked. No, no. It, it, well, hold on, hold on. It, it worked because. Conscious touch shit. Let's be honest, like, it's such a it shit. It worked because prior to the 65, you were bringing in people that were the same. That's why it worked. Okay, let, let me explain That's something to you, right? I tell you what you're describing. What, what you're describing, right? I tell you what you're describing. What I'm actually describing is I believe it's culture. If you've got people that have a similar enough culture, it's not a problem. It's when nah, the culture is regression to the mean. The judge Jerry Hines, regression to the mean. Like you could have cold it's demographical and and Condoleezza Rice could come into your neighborhood and fucking have kids. And those kids are gonna fucking listen to hip hop music and join the game. <laughs> so it doesn't fucking matter, man. Regression to the mean always happens, one hundred percent of the time. Let me read these super chats, man. Um, John Low Star, Star Narco says, "Great show as always, Opt and panel. Keep up the fight. You definitely are getting more views than YouTube lets on. With my, with me watching." From sunny ass California. Do San Bernardino sometimes in 909. Yeah, man, we'll get to San Bernardino sometime, man. No problem, man. Um, let me read this other super chat, man. Salute to all you guys, man. Um, Hot Fire says, Why is this so hard to grasp? Different races and cultures have differences. Damn. Is the propaganda <laughs> glass lightning cognitive dissonance that strong? Um, yeah, yeah. man, listen, man. Meyer gets it. He gets it. Let me let race me, let isn't me, real, guys. Let me yeah. let me move along with this this video if you see if there's anything else. Okay. You're not gonna talk. Oh man, we're gonna be here all day. Then. Yeah, that's him. I got him ID by. I mean, that's him, obviously. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't him, he would just tell you who he was. What? So he right. Him. <laughs> right. He, he Thank was. you. Won't give you a name. No. Uh, the Fed verified that's him. Yeah. Um, I talked to the fraud department. Mm hmm. Then obviously whatever he booked. He's not. We're not. He's not going. Okay. There. Yeah. Yeah. Put him uh, out here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, let's, let's everything bounces. Really so, and it's nothing to his name. Do they want to know? Yeah, yeah. No, it's him. It's it's him. I got prior prior to that. We have the information from the from the yeah, Fed. Yeah, no, I'm saying we have this information. Tattoo matches. Okay, so that's him. Um, let me let me show you guys this other thing, man. Uh, so everyone hit the like button. Everyone who's coming here should have hit, hit the like button, man. Um, let's see this one. Uh, let me see. Smash. Um. Let's see, uh, where is that video that I wanted to show you guys? Um, where is that shit? What did I, oh, it might have been on, it might have been um, on, um, was it on YouTube or was it on um, Twitter? I think it was on Twitter, right? Oh, okay, well, I'll show you this one. We'll just do this one right now. Um, this is um, Kendrick. This is at, at age 15, Kendrick Morris, this guy, raped an elderly woman. Ten months later, he attacked and raped a high school senior, leaving her blind and paralyzed. She's a tiger, right? I think I remember seeing a YouTube video on this. In 2008, Kendrick Morris, then 16 years old, was convicted for a brutal rape that left a young woman blind and paralyzed for life. He attacked high school student Queena Fu as she was dropping off books at the Bloomingdale Regional Public Library in Valderico. Damn, that sucks, man. Morris dragged her behind the building 